And now at six, case closed for a South Florida baseball coach accused of molesting two of his players. David Solomon pleading guilty today. The plea guilt deal coming on the same day his trial was scheduled to begin. Yet it was still a dramatic day in court as one family had the chance to confront the man they trusted with their child. CBS 4's Carrie Codd is live in Fort Lauderdale with more. Carrie. Well, Rube, David Solomon, if convicted at trial, could have gone to prison for the rest of his life. So he did take a plea deal after much deliberation that will send him to prison for 12 years. As you mentioned, the parents of one of his victims told Solomon that Solomon ruined part of their son's life. Solomon, however, remained defiant about his innocence. Prosecutors say David Solomon earned the trust of his baseball players in Cooper City and their parents, too, enabling him to spend alone time with the children. On numerous occasions, police and prosecutors say Solomon violated that trust by molesting two of those boys. In court Wednesday, as Solomon prepared for trial, he took a plea deal offered by the state, 12 years in prison and 10 years of sex offender probation. The parents of one of his victims gave him a piece of their minds. You will never understand the pain the hurt for the damage you caused to my son. You stole his innocence from him. As an 11 year old boy, 13 and who knows how long, because of you, he must suffer the rest of his life. Shame on you. Solomon stood defiant in the face of those words and told the judge and the parents that he's innocent. Um, I did not harm anyone's kids. I did not want. Not one. Solomon's attorney, Eric Schwartzreich, said Solomon realized that if he was convicted on just one of the many charges against him, he could have been looking at life in prison. He didn't want to admit to something he didn't do, but it was a struggle for him, and he realized that this gives him the opportunity. He'll be out, and hopefully, which will be eight years, and he'll have an opportunity to see his family. Police accused Solomon of making up touching games with the boys and then telling them not to tell anyone about his actions. Prosecutor Patil of Flazian said the reason for the plea was clear. Spare these children from going through the trauma of, of reliving their sexual abuse if it was possible to come to a resolution. She said she also wanted to make sure that the community was protected. The parents of one victim say their son suffers nightmares and needs therapy. This dad says it's difficult for his son to even hug him. May God have mercy on your soul because where you're going, nobody else will. Now, Solomon faced accusations of similar behavior years ago in Miami, but those charges were dropped when he attended a diversion program and attended counseling. Despite his denials in court, prosecutors say one thing is certain that Solomon will now be designated a sexual predator. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News.